Grab, grab, grab the instruction guide for this video down below. Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business coming at you about the Lane 5000 uh, issues that QuickBooks Point of Sale has been uh, dealing with and I'm sorry that you've had to deal with that. Uh, there is some good news, an update I just got from my Intuit channel manager that there is an update for QuickBooks Point of Sale that is going to help alleviate some of the issues with the Lane 5000. I'm gonna walk through how you might get your hands on that right now. This update has not been pushed live uh, to be an automatic update yet. So you can jump on ahead of time and download the update. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that right now. If you haven't already, I'd like you to join our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group. Click on the link down in the description below, get over there and you can ask any question uh, you want about errors or problems you're having with QuickBooks Point of Sale and stay up to date on the latest fixes and help. And uh, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to hit subscribe. Okay, let's check this out. So this is my version 19 of QuickBooks Point of Sale. I have not gone through and done the update yet. So I'm gonna have a link down in the description below but otherwise, just going over it briefly, this just happened three days ago. It's a release R5, and it says improved communication to the Lane 5000 pin pad to help mitigate interruptions. It's also going to put in place an updated USB driver in the drivers folder, so we may need to walk through installing that as well. Uh, I'm not sure, we're gonna, we're gonna check it out. And then resolve issues where Lane 5000 no longer responds after making a sale uh, to convert to sales. Oh, okay, so that's kind of an issue where you're uh, transitioning from make a sale to convert to sales orders. That doesn't quite make sense, that sentence, sorry. Uh, but I'm hoping that what this is going to do is hopefully help alleviate some of the part where you're making a sale and it's hanging. All right, so once you click on the link down below to get over to this page, it's gonna ask you if you're using QuickBooks Desktop on multiple computers, you can just hit not sure. We're not actually using QuickBooks Desktop, so we wanna get to this screen. We're in the United States, so we're gonna select the product of QuickBooks Point of Sale, and then uh, any of the additions, it doesn't really matter, you can hit Pro, I guess. And then version 19 is what we're talking about here because that's the version that uses that pin pad. We hit search. It's going to come up and you can actually download Point of Sale Pro, but that is not what we are here for. We are going to hit get the latest updates. These are This is going to download an update that is actually not an automatic update yet, like I said. Once it, once it is done, we will click on that. It's going to launch. I don't know if you saw that, but I hit yes on an admin prompt. Uh, we're going to hit install, and this is the R5, like I said. <laughs> Removing backup files. Now we must restart our computer to finish this installation, so I'm going to have to pause my recording. I'll be right back. Okay, now that we are done restarting, I'm back up to this page here. I'm gonna flip back over and I did notice that the Ingenico 3.26 USB driver for the Lane 5000 has been put into the driver's folder. I'm gonna go on my start menu to device manager and go under ports and look at my Ingenico Lane 5000 here. I'm gonna look at the properties and flip over to the driver tab. Uh, my driver version is actually 2.0.1.0 and the newer driver version is 3.26. So I'm going to try and see if I can update the driver to the new one that was included. I might need to run through the actual installation. So x86 into it 19 drivers in Genico Lane 5000. So right here I am going to do the 3.26 setup. I'm gonna say yes to the admin prompt. Version is installed. Do you wanna install it before installing the new one? Yes, looks like I'm gonna to have to reboot again, unfortunately. I'm gonna say yes to uninstalling it. 
think I'm gonna have to run this again because it just did the uninstall. Uninstall is finished. Do you want to reboot now? Okay, I guess I have to reboot again. All right, so we are back up and running after another restart. I will notice in my device manager that the uh, Lane 5000 has showed up as just a generic serial device on the same COM port. And this actually automatically popped up for the 3.26 setup wizard. So I'm going to walk through that. You can just leave everything blank here. We can uninstall Microsoft something something driver. And everything's getting installed with the new driver now. Crossing our fingers that this is gonna solve some problems. And finish. Uh, I believe the lane 5000 should pop off and back on again. Looks like it got a new COM port this time. Um, my pin pad itself has been sitting at the QuickBooks symbol. Alright, so that's that. Now I'm going to launch QuickBooks point of sale. Connecting, okay. So, uh, I'm going to go on the help menu about QuickBooks point of sale and we can see right here version 19 R5 is installed. We are hoping that this connection with A with this driver and B with this point of sale update is going to give us better success in using the pin pad and have it not hang and have it not have problems and so there you go folks that is walking through how to currently manually install the QuickBooks point of sale update that is supposed to help with the pin pad issues a bit as well as the new driver for the lane 5000. My name is Peter with BlackRock Business. If this was helpful go ahead and hit thumbs up. You have an excellent day. All right bye.